What's going on, you guys? Uh, Coaster here, just on this account. Uh, sorry if this looks kind of weird and old school, like I'm a gamer, but I'm here to just talk about the uh, the recruiting class for UCLA. It's been a few days now, and thankfully they got everybody uh, committed through uh, that did. We didn't lose anybody on signing day or on the middle of out of nowhere. People might complain that this was a class that didn't have all the wins on National Signing Day, all the people who could have flipped over and over again, but it's all right. I'm not mad about this. There's no reason to be angry over what's going on. Uh, this is the class that has all the needs. It may not be the most flashy, but I think on Signing Day we only got one guy to choose us out of nowhere. It was a linebacker, uh, Kenny Young. That was the only win on the day, per se, but you know what? I'm not worried. Uh, do not be obsessed with recruiting classes. I at least not over-obsessed with recruiting classes. You now, it's not in my control. It's only in the coach's controls. I don't want to try to recruit a guy on Twitter and stuff. I know you can do that on social media today. So, But I'm not, not so worried. Uh, 20 people in total com uh, committed. I, was, I think on Rivals, it's missing a guy named Mossy Johnson. And then, and then of course, there's the Miami transfer, Malcolm Bunchy, who uh, is transferring. He's like a grad student, so he's got a year of eligibility left with us. And... Uh, yeah, 20 people you have. Mostly this is a defensive class. I would say there's three notable defensive linemen. Uh, the linebacking core looks pretty good. Uh, that was a position I thought that could have been somewhat thin after who we lost this past year. Uh, so it's good to see we restocked on the linebackers. Uh, and then there's a lot of defensive backs. There's about, I don't know, eight or nine defensive backs who are sophomore or under, and a lot of them will be competing in the future. Uh, the big Big other uh, acquisition I like, of course, is the quarterback, Aaron Sharp. It's good to know when Brett Hundley is gone, we'll have multiple guys competing for the spot. There's Aaron Sharp. There's Asante Woolyard, uh, who will be expected to take over when uh, Hundley is gone. So it's good to know in the long term, at least at quarterback, we have somebody in our system. Once again, I'm not obsessed with the amount of stars they have. I'm obs I really prefer just people who fit our position and fit our needs and we we have that every position on defense is pretty much settled three said few defensive linemen good number of defensive backs uh and a bunch of linebackers we do have a few wide receiver couple wide receivers a handful and then we have one running back named Nathan Starks uh he was the last guy to send his letter of intent electronically so uh yeah there there's i think the linebacker core is the strength of this class we did get the one guy i think Matt Dickerson who was a Notre Dame commit <laughs> To switch over to us, so it's good to know. Uh, I don't expect a lot of instant impact. Of course, the only guy I expect to play significantly would be the transfer, Malcolm Bunchy. If not, at least be a rotation guy. Uh, we'll see, though. We'll see uh, what, what what lies ahead. I think, I mean, UCLA shown that this this coaching staff knows what it's doing, and it's not always about the stars. It's about how you develop the guys with what you have. I know other schools had a lot more talent or were winners on National Signing Day, but Let's let the coaching be itself, and let's let the coaches do their job. I think Jeff Ulbrich being the new defensive coordinator, I have faith in the guy. I hope he does well, and good luck to Spanos in uh, Tennessee. I think Spanos took a job out there. So, you know, a few coaching staff changes, no running backs coach. A uh, couple people moved up, like Adrian Clam being an assistant associate head coach, which he's been great for, for us, a great recruiter, doing everything right on his staff. I mean, we're paying the staff some pretty good money, and I expect them to uh, really pan out looking forward. So, football team, this class, it may not be your elite top five all blue chip class, but I'm fine with what we got. The UCLA has 20 players that were needed. They just didn't get all the wants, all the luxury. But we got that last year when we got guys like Vanderdose and others. So, it is what it is, guys. Let's enjoy, enjoy this class. Move on to next year. And uh, good luck to these guys in the future. I hope a good number of these guys will contribute uh, for the next few years. We'll see you guys later. Go Bruins.